Hi there, Shine Barucha here, Technical Support Engineer at Pepperell and Fuchs, and today we're going to talk about ROS drivers for R2000, R2300 LiDAR sensors. And in this video, I'm going to go through the installation of the driver packages with ROS and its utilization procedure. First things first, let's discuss what is ROS. So ROS stands for Robot Operating System. Though the acronym has operating system in it, it's more of a middleware having a collection of software libraries and tools that help you build your robot applications. Moreover, it has already has several of the state-of-the-art algorithms such as SLAM implemented in it. So ROS, uh, in a nutshell, gives you an environment to create your robotics application with a much faster pace and accuracy as compared to the usual traditional approach in which you have to write everything from scratch. So you might be thinking, what's the difference between R2300 and R2000? And why one is 3D LiDAR and other is 2D LiDAR? So a difference between the two that can be even seen in the application pictures below is R2300 has four planar scanning and has a scan angle of 100 degrees as compared to R2000 which has single planar scan but can scan up to 360 degrees. For my setup, I'm using an R2300 3D LiDAR sensor which I've connected to my uh, laptop's USB to Ethernet adapter using an Ethernet cable. I'm powering my sensor using a 24 volts DC source. Though the LiDAR sensor has a voltage range of 10 to 30 volts, so anything between that should be fine. For the software side of things, I'm using Oracle's Virtual Box, which is a virtual machine manager and in that I've installed Ubuntu 20.4. In my Ubuntu, I've already installed ROS Noetic. If you want to know more about the installation procedure for ROS, ROS's own wiki is a great resource. So I'm booted up to my Ubuntu 20.4 in my virtual machine. And first thing we have to do is open our terminal. Several ways to do that. My favorite is Control alt t once press that, our terminal will show up. And first thing we have to do is make a project directory. I'm going to make that on my desktop. So I'll do a CD change directory to my desktop. So D tab and I'm on my desktop. I'm going to make a directory and SRC the source directory inside that directory using hyphen P. So to do that, we'll type mkdir and hyphen P and a project name for the directory. So in my case, PF demo LIDAR to keep it simple, slash SRC and we'll hit enter or return and once done that we can go to our directory doing a cd command and so we can see that uh, our directory has been made so i'll do a cd pf demo do a ls for list and we can see the src folder has been made inside the directory so now we'll go into the src folder and the next step is opening up your web browser in my case i'm using firefox which is default with ubuntu so uh, over here you can see that the github page for ros driver is already showing up in my url history bar but I want to show you guys how to get to one. So one way is to type in the URL that's github.com slash pepperolfolks slash pf underscore lidar underscore ros underscore driver. 
or the second way which is my favorite is just do a google search so typing r2300 or r2000 r2300 april and fox and ross so we are just making conditions for google to pick the, our link and we can see there are two links so one is wiki and one is a github link in our case we are going to use the github link so i'll press that and it should load up my github page so uh, on our github page uh, you can see all the files needed for the driver and the readme which uh, shares instructions so first thing we can see is the required platforms show Ubuntu 18.04 and ROS Melodic or Ubuntu 20.4 and ROS Noetic. So ROS Melodic is basically a predecessor of ROS Noetic. And if you have a system that runs with Melodic, you can run these drivers in that too, works fine. And over here, uh, the first things we can see is it shows you an option of either using catkin tools in which catkin build comes or instead you can also use catkin make if you don't have catkin tools installed and uh, to get started first thing first is to copy our git clone command i don't like to type long commands because you are prone to errors and the best way to do it is to just do a copy and paste it on your terminal so, so do that we can either highlight it or just press that copy button on the side which looks like two squares so i'm going to do that it's now copied open my terminal right click and paste so once pasted i'll hit enter and it should download every file in my source folder I can do a list ls command to check if my download has been successful. We should see a pf lidar ros driver directory made in the src folder. That means all's good. Now we can go to the next step. So the next step is to run the command that's for export ros underscore distro. This command has to be run from the parent directory. So that's why I'm using a CD double dot. That means to go one directory back. And over here, I'm going to use this export command now. This basically tells the make to use the ROS distro, which is installed. So if you have a melodic, it will select melodic, else it will select noetic. So I'm going to copy and paste this command in my terminal, hit enter, nothing comes up, that means all's good. Now I'm going to do a ROS dev update, a small command, so I'm not uh, bothering to copy it, just typing it up. It's going to take some updates from the GitHub page and get everything made according to the installation of our ROS. After that, we are going to do a ROS install. And again, I'm copying the command because it's long and prone to errors if I go and type it. Hit enter. Everything's installed. All's good, no red. So we can move forward. And in this, now we have to do a source. So we have to source the ROS no, it takes setup. So I'm going to type source slash opt slash ROS slash. Now it's it's written ROS distro, but if you do type that, nothing should happen because that's a placeholder. Placeholder for the type of ROS you have already installed. So to just demonstrate, I'm typing ROS and doing a tab and nothing comes up. And I've done, I've installed Noetic, so I'll type in O and tab and it will appear. And I'll do SCT tab, autocomplete, and 
dot bash as I'm using a bash terminal. If you're using a, some other terminal, uh, there are other extensions for the setup file and you have to use that. So once I hit enter, it should be good. The sourcing and now I can do a catkin build. Now we are ready to build our project. To do that, I'm going to do catkin build, hit enter. And now we can see that the project has been built successfully. Uh, summary is all two packages succeeded. Uh, we are looking for blue, green, yellow, and purple color checks, nothing red. If there is red, then there is something wrong. Now I'll do is source my workspace. To, that, to do that, I'm going to type source devil setup.bash. Uh, if I'm using a different terminal, I'll take that extension respectfully from this uh, folder. After sourcing, we are almost there. Now I have to amend my launch file. So to do that, I'll go to my PF source P tab for autocomplete, PF D underscore D and tab again for autocomplete and L tab for autocomplete and we will be in our launch directory. We can see two launch files, R2000 and R2300. I'm using an R2300, so I'm going to amend the R2300 launch file. To do that, I'm going to use Vim. You can use any editor of your choice. So we can see an XML file, which is basically the format for launch files and so what we have to do over here is in the scanner IP defaults, we have to put in the IP address of our R2300 in this case. And for me, it's 169.254.96.114. Once done that and saved, I'm going to open my Oracle VirtualBox Manager so we can change the network adapter from NAT to bridge adapter for our virtual machine. So I've gone to settings, network, selected my bridge connect adapter and selected the appropriate adapter or USB to Ethernet adapter on which my ROS R2300 is attached. After doing that, I'm going to go to settings and enter manual IP address of my Ethernet adapter. I'm doing this so every time I launch, open my Ubuntu, I don't have to switch between NAT and bridge adapters to get those, to pick up the settings. So I've in the address, I've entered the address of my USB to Ethernet adapter, putting it my subnet mask, hit and apply. I'm just going to toggle on and off for the Ubuntu to pick up the new settings and now we are ready to launch our launch file so to do that I'm going to type ROS launch space r2300.launch and hit enter you can see our ROS core is running and once that's done it's going to launch rviz rviz is a 3d visualizing tool for provided by ROS it can be used for much more uh, 3D mapping and other applications. So in our case, we can see our 3D model for the R2300, which is represented in uh, that red box. Let me take out the TFs so it can be more visible and let me zoom in a little bit. And now we can see the four point clouds uh, being developed which is representing a hallway in front and there is a door so we can see the details about it like coming through pretty clearly and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to walk away and try to like open and close my door to show you the visualization which is happening so you can clearly see my door is closing and opening and so this is basically 
the raw data that's been represented like in the point cloud and you, we can even do a top view to get a much more clear view of the room and if we have an R2000 this can be even 360 degrees so once that's done let me show you something else we can check all the topics which have been published uh, so to do that let me go through my directory project directory to do that I'm going to cd dot 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 until we are on our project directory and I'm going to do a source as I've opened a new command shell so with opening a new command shell always do source and a ROS topic list to show all the topics that have been are being published by the ROS score right now and we can see there is cloud cloud underscore one two three four so the cloud is an abrogation of all one two three four or cloud topics and each cloud topic is uh, representing a scan so we can even see the raw data coming in and to do that you just have to type ross topic echo and the topic's name so cloud underscore one in my case and when i hit enter i should see the raw data stream coming in and as you can see, it's lots of points, intensities, and ranges that, that are being published. And I've just used Control C to stop it and clear. So now to close everything, we're just gonna go to the cross course uh, terminal and do a Control C, and it will end everything and close. So with that, we are done. I hope you found this video informative and if you have any questions please feel free to come in or ask us at ask at us.pepperell-fix.com and with that uh, subscribe to our youtube channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest and the greatest in industrial automation in pepperell and folks thank you very much uh, for watching the video and have a great day